Hi, it's me. We have a new video. <laughs> I feel like I haven't posted on YouTube. Honestly, I've been trying to juggle everything. We're just going to get, we're just going to do a quick get ready. I'm, I'll be straight up with you. I've had not a lick of freaking makeup, but I'm going to the gym tonight and that's what I'm getting ready for. And it's a wild, wild Saturday night. So we're going to the gym. I, I try to spray this. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hi, we're getting ready for the gym. I have Max Fix Plus, brand new. Have not used this in forever. I just want to get the, the nostalgia back, you know? Oh my gosh, I love that scent. I miss it so much. Let's do a life update if you're not sure what I was even saying in the, in the beginning because I don't even know what I was saying in the beginning, okay? Let me rotate you just a little bit this way because everybody's going to be like, oh my god, I saw someone. There we go. Okay. So let's just do a light life update and just get ready. You guys, I couldn't even light up my background. I had like my lights and I was just getting frustrated and I've been having a lot of technical difficulties, okay? Uh, we're going to go into e.l.f. Primer. Um, this is the Power Grip. A, a dupe for the Milk Makeup Grip, Hydro Grip. I like taking this and kind of warming it up and then placing it right here. So what has been going on? First off, I want to address something that I really need to say before I forget because I find that it's very important and sisters by choice. I'm sure some of you are like, wow, what a bee. I like sent in my question and she hasn't even answered it and she just has it in her email. No, I promise you I'm filming the first episode this week because my mic, um, I've been trying to test it out and all this stuff and yeah, I, this is what I just did the other day when I left South Coast Plaza. I went to Sammy's camera, and I just bought the same mic so I don't have any issues. And it's the Rode um, N NTG5. It was 500 bucks, and this mic went... But I've had it for a while, and that's just what happens with tech. you got to replace and all that. And they haven't... They haven't even had like an upgrade of a mic. The guy's like, oh yeah, this is still the best one. I'm like, okay, you know, just gonna use the Maybelline. So I promise you, this is in sun beige. I don't know if this is my color right now because I've been in the sun just a little. The weather's been weird. Um, let me turn off the fan for a bit. It's a little bit warm in my room. I didn't have the windows open or anything today. I forgot to open them back up. So I got the new mic and I don't want you to think like I'm totally, totally ignoring you or ignoring the series or acting like I started something and then, or said something and I never started it. That's not the case, I promise you. Uh, because it's something that I really want to start. Whether it goes somewhere or not, I don't really mind. I'm just excited to start like a new series. Something that just really fuels me, you know, because I feel like, you can only talk about beauty so much. We're all in different stages. And I also feel like a lot of my viewers have grown up with me as well. We're all at different stages. And yeah, although we do love makeup, trust me, I still love makeup. I want to talk about life stuff that we go through. You know, like things that truly matter. Just more like raw and real things. Oh, I have another big question for you. <gasps> okay, well, anyhow, I'm going to do that because I just feel like it'll be me time for me. And also for you, because we all need that sister. You know, we all need that support system. And I think it'll be like cool episodes where it's just more chill, laid back, grab a snack, grab a drink. Doesn't matter if it's alcoholic or not. No one's judging you. And that's it. Just send in your anonymous questions and then we'll have discussions. And they don't even have to be questions. They can be story times. And then you can get the reaction, you know, like what I think, how I'm feeling or all of that, you know, just in, input. And, and it does help because sometimes, like I said in my other video, when I introduce sisters by choice, because if you have no idea what the heck I am talking about, I'm starting, um, like a little video series slash, I want to make it into a podcast. I'm not sure I need to learn how to do all that audio, but I'm not too concentrated on that right now. I'm not worried about the podcast portion of it turning whatever you know I want to do the video I need to get this done because I personally want it I don't want to leave you guys hanging I have the questions so yeah but I just feel like we just all need that time to just bond and have that person we can go to it's going to be a safe space um, just go watch that video I'm going to link it down below you can still send questions please send more to ask sisters by choice 
at gmail.com. I'll leave that information down below. Sorry, I feel like I was very aggressive with that. Live your questions. <laughs> So yeah, um, other than that, I've honestly just been living life. It's not that I want to steer away from YouTube. That is definitely not my intention. It's just that I feel like an octopus trying to juggle so many different social medias and getting all organized again and also getting on top of my jewelry business and all of that. So I have new pieces that have launched. I have this beautiful Virgin Mary that means a lot to me. Um, made of shell right here. Let me try to focus that. I want to do a whole video like just showing you the pieces, but fit him the Guadalupe. I love this one because she's my favorite to pray at, and it's always been my mom's favorite to pray at. Um, so yeah, this is just the tart um, sharp tape, <laughs> and I've just been trying to jug juggle that because, to be very honest, that was put on hold. I feel like I was very half into it. Um, and it wasn't by choice. It really wasn't. It's just that it was a lot going on with my mom and there's still a lot going on with my mom. You know, there's everyday changes, honestly. Um, with my mom having dementia, it is a very, very hard thing to go through. There's so many ups and downs. Some days she's doing so good. Some days she's doing really bad. And that's just the reality of it. And it's very emotional for me because, I'm obviously going through it as well as was well my other family members and we're all dealing with it different. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot. I know people still want to see her. I'll be a hundred percent straight up. I will probably never show her again unless it's like a very, very good moment, but I don't even want to show her because honestly it's not her anymore. Unfortunately, um, the other week it was a little bit hard for me because it was like the first time where she looked at me and she's like who are you and man talk about devastation like I was literally broken I'm kind of tearing up I was literally broken for like two weeks um so yeah it's just been hard hold on I'm not trying to cry I was just literally trying to get ready for the gym but you guys know my mom is my world all right, had to turn the fan back on so I can dry these tears, okay? And I will tell you, even though I've been, like, very sad some days, I'm doing very good. Like I said, I'm so thankful for therapy. It has kept me completely sane. It has helped me figure out how to live daily without feeling defeated or feeling like I'm... I'm just not living, you know, um, my camera ran out of memory. Um, but what I was saying was it's just been hard. I've just been very thankful for therapy. It's been keeping me sane. And even though I may look sad right now, I actually feel pretty good. You know, um, I have the bronze sticks from color pop. I haven't tried these out yet. That is definitely way too dark for me. Let's see. La Hoya Cove. Looks like I swatched that one. Yeah, we're going to go with it and we're going to go in with my favorite brush from NARS for cream bronzer. Um, but yeah, uh, therapy has kept me sane. Other big updates. Uh, how do I feel about everything going on? Remember I told you I had like all these things personally with like my family and all that. Well, guess what? I got an apology <laughs> and it feels good. You know what I mean? To have the apology. Obviously I will never forget what was told to me. It's just like all a process, but that's what therapy is for. I'm helping just learn how to navigate my mind and to not just spiral or go from zero to 1,000. Even though I am a zero to 1,000 person, um, that's just how I've always been with like a lot of things. We're going to use a little bit more. Okay. And yeah, so that was nice. That was on Mother's Day. And I was like, oh, how funny, because on Father's Day is when all that went down, all that craziness, and then Mother's Day I got my apology. I just thought it was very strange, like, the timing. And, you know, you know me. I like to look light of situations and laugh and all that. And I told Glenn, oh, my gosh, I have two different anniversaries um, for myself for Father's Day and then also for Mother's Day. But, yeah. So I'm just going to do that. Although, this isn't, like, a mega tutorial. I'm just, like, trying out things, but... This feels very sticky. Maybe it's the e.l.f. Hydro Grip, but I didn't put that much. We'll see. Hopefully this baby sets. Okay, everybody's been pissing their pants for these. ColourPop came out with dupes of Rare Beauty Blush. 
This one's in Angel Face, and then this one's in IKTR. The hell does that mean? I I know. I know tacos real good. <laughs> There's no G. I don't know. Hold on. What does that mean? Wow. I had no idea IKTR people use that acronym for I know that's right. I know that's right. Boom, boom. And then, okay. So we're going to try it out. <laughs> Look, total dupe. Look at the top though. It's so cute with the heart. Is it necessary? No, but it is. This looks identical to Rare Beauty blush. Let's see if it's as pigmented. Let's do the, that might've been too much. I need a brush. What am I using? I have nothing. Hold on. This is obviously my tried and two brush. Judge me if you want the contour blush brush. Okay. Let's, oh, it's not as pigmented because if I would have done two dots with rare, it would have been all over. And I love that. <laughs> So this one is definitely more user friendly. So we're just gonna blend that out. Yeah, not as pigmented at all, but I think that's actually a good thing because I feel like it just blended out beautifully and just poked my eye, no big deal. So yeah, um, what else that I can tell you? Yeah, so I got an apology, you know, all, we all talked and all that stuff and um, we're all on a normal good page. I mean, and then that's, how it should be you know just normal cordial don't need to be all extra and be upset I mean it just makes the things I'm wow this is a lot of blush I love it okay it is pigmented but I just put it everywhere it's looking extra right now and I don't I'm not mad at it but let's just blend a little okay let's just blend a little so everything is going good on that end which I'm very happy of I'm sure people are curious about my birth father and how that is going it's that part is it's honestly going nowhere <laughs> um it's not my intent it's it's just because I only have so much energy for so much you know I've actually already discussed this also with my therapist and I'm just like it's very hard to start like a whole relationship from the beginning you know especially like so later on in life and there's so many life changes and things I've gone through with Glenn and loss and and events and painful events and stuff that we've just dealt with it's like it's too much at once you know and I personally do not have the capacity in me to handle a whole new relationship I think I was trying my best you know I mean it's not that I don't talk to him at all it's just I don't have time to just set aside and like hang out and start from the beginning it's very mentally draining when I'm just trying to get my life together for myself. I have to live for myself. I have not lived for myself in so many years. It is wild. Because honestly, we all have so much going on. Let me turn off this fan for a little. We all have so much going on in our lives. I'm sure you have so much. or Your neighbor has so much. The male guy has so much going on. I'm just going to add a little bit of concealer. And it's just hard to juggle everything. And, you know, it's like I said, it's not like I don't plan on ever talking to him. It's just so hard to set aside that time of like, let's go eat lunch or brunch or whatever. And let's talk about what I've been doing my whole entire life, <laughs> you know. And it's it's very draining to like have to repeat things or go through things or even answer like basic questions like, and, and, and I know he doesn't, he has the best intent. I will say that he has the best intent. It's just the timing of everything. You, if you've been following me, you guys already know, Glenn and I have been just dealing with so much stuff. We got to live for our own self, you know? I'm just going to take this brush because this is what's here. It's a baking brush and just use the L'Oreal powder and just set my eye because I'm not going to do any eyeliner or anything because I obviously have DIY lashes on. Um, and I post all that on TikTok, FYI. If you guys have been wondering where I am, I've been on TikTok like doing stuff. But yes, I have the Catrice Safari Fever. The last Catrice Palace that I... Palace. The last Catrice... The last Catrice Palette that I used, I've actually been using up since then. Like, I love it. And, but why? I'm just using um, just a transition, something super simple. Like, I'm going to take this savannah one or yeah let's take a little bit of savannah and just stick it right in the no that's no that's not what i wanted no okay let's just kind of balance it out 
That is not what I wanted. That just got way too pigmented way too fast. I am, um, that's, yeah, that's, no, that's not where I was going. Okay, I'm gonna have to add a little bit more to this side. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's add a little bit of sundown. It's like a orangey shade. And let's try to just make that a little bit warm and blend out. Damn, I did not want this much shadow. I literally just wanted like a, whoosh, a little hint. This is not what I was going for. Not what I was going for. And do I care if it's sloppy? No, because I'm just going to the gym. And sometimes I will go out like this with like super quick makeup. My eyelids are just so oily. So it's just like, I think that's why I just took that shadow. Like, bam, you're an oil paint. But yeah, um, as of right now, I mean, I eventually will have the conversation how I just don't have the energy, but I also feel like it should just kind of be known, you know, like he kind of stopped calling, which is fine. I think he kind of understands and just kind of giving me space, which I really appreciate. Okay, now I feel like I need to add more orange because I feel like it's popping on this side and now there's nothing on this side. I am a mess, you guys. I'm a mess. And this blush isn't really going with the eyeshadow, but it's okay. We'll tie it all in with some, some lipstick, okay? <laughs> but yeah, it's just been hard balancing because I'm still going through stuff, you guys. Like, I'm still dealing with a lot of things with my mom. Um, I'm, yeah, it's just, it's so much. And that's all I'm going to say. Um, anything else new? Glenn and I are doing absolutely amazing whenever we get time to spend together because he's been working a lot. His hours have been getting much better. We have the best time. Like, I feel like we're really just, I don't want to say reconnect, but just being able to live more in the moment for ourselves. I have lip liners from Makeup Forever, which I have been loving. This one's in the shade of Wherever Walnut. And this is Wherever Walnut. Why do I have... I thought they were different. Wow. I bet you anything. Yeah, and I used both. Wow. Not sure what's going on, but a lot of discoveries tonight, huh? A lot of discoveries. Oh, I have my lip mask on. A lot of discoveries. So I'm just going to place this. And yeah, we've just been living for ourselves. Um, we're trying to plan a vacation. We're trying to go to Japan. I'm really hoping it happens. It's not that we can't plan. It's just, I think we're going to go in August. It's just so hard with our pets, you guys. And another secret, we saved another cat. I saw a cat early in the morning, like around 7 in the morning. I was like, I cannot do this. Like, I have so much work I have to get done. I got to work and make money too, you know. And I got to get things done. You guys have already saved several cats in my neighborhood and brought them back to their owners. It is crazy. I'm like the cat woman. I'm the cat whisperer. And then I saw this cat. I said, I can't deal with it right now. And it really sucked to not deal with it. But come on now. Not everybody can just go and save cats every day. You know, it's just not realistic. Um, I've definitely done my part in the save pets, you know, bubble. Um, and I saw the cat later on and I thought, oh, okay. Like, it found its owner, right? I saw on the camera and I felt so good. It was like with this family, they're with their dog. The cat was hanging out with the dog. And I'm like, oh my gosh, thank goodness that's her family. Then all of a sudden I see the family walk away and like wave at the cat on the camera. I'm like, why are you waving by? And that looked like your cat. And I, and I didn't check the camera for hours because I was just so busy with all my work, trying to keep up, all of that. And, um, and we saved a cat. I got the cat at night. I put on Paw Boost. We, ch we checked for microchip the next day. Um, we asked neighbors, everything. This was the one cat we could not relocate back to its house. And um, we saved her. We tried it. I actually was like, "There's it's too much now. Hold on, let me get a lip color. Anastasia sent me some stuff. <laughs> I'm back on their PR. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's like the third time I've been like kicked off. This one's pink sand. I think I'm going to just try this pink sand and yeah we try to bring her to a rescue and all I see it's like that's not pink that's like nude and peach that is not this is not pink sand mm -mm. but it's nice okay I'm gonna add like a pink gloss on top but um yeah the, obviously they're all full it's like kitty season please Go get your pets fixed, okay? Um, 
And yeah, we just saved her. You guys, it makes me feel good. Cats are very easy to take care of. We also can't save a dog because Ewok, he has like a heart condition, enlarged heart, collapsed trachea, takes heart medication every 12 hours. If we were to in introduce a new dog, it would just literally give him so much anxiety. And I'm not trying to take any, t I'm not taking any chances with my dog. That's for damn sure. Um, I do, I, I want Ewok to have a very good life. He's already getting up in age. His hearing is kind of slightly going out. You know, when they can't like jump on the couch anymore. <sighs> yeah, he's getting a little old man. Um, but yeah, he's, um, he's doing really good though. And I want to keep it that way, you know? Okay, hold on. I need a gloss. I need a set. I feel like I look greasy. I feel like I have random colors everywhere. What is going on? But we're having a good time. That's the point. That's the point. And that's why I wanted to film because we're having a good time. Once we set the face, it's going to look much better. Trust me. I really like these Too Faced lip injection glosses. This one's in Glossy and Bossy. <laughs> and yeah, and dogs are much harder. We're just trying to figure out how we're going to do it with like Ewok because I don't trust any of these doggy hotels or places. So we're hoping that his family can help. <laughs> And Glenn's going to ask his aunt tomorrow on her birthday. And I'm like, that's not a good birthday present, but you do you. That's your family. Um, but the cats are very easy, too. Cats are very easy. There's automatic feeders. We have people that can come check on them and just put their food and all of that. So they're easy, you know. Um, it's Ewok, who's much more difficult. And now that there's three, you know, they can, they're can. they all going to be together. They're not going to be by themselves. Cats do better in two or more if you didn't know okay let's do a little bit of one size and start setting um but yeah let me just show you what one size or one side looks like with the set and then and then yeah actually you know what i'm just gonna use this one size all over because it's like translucent so it's fine with just like a little puff that's that's pretty much it i just been trying to get everything going and like I said it was not my intent to not film on tick uh, on TikTok on YouTube but I've been filming on TikTok too and then you guys also have to realize like this is my job this isn't just like a hobby I have to make money too so yeah TikTok's been doing really well for me um and I'm really happy I'm trying to get in the groove of balancing everything and I also want to have my jewelry business not just for right now I want it to flourish for more than 10 15 20 years you know if i can like who knows what it can turn into and obviously i'm not going to be on social media for the rest of my life so if i can have a side small business that does good then why not you know this is what life is about like trying our hardest fulfilling dreams and all that why did i put more blush but yeah here's one side hello much better you know this one's like glowy not set this one's set YouTube will always have my heart. This is like where I started off. I just love the connection. I won't lie. I don't like, um, I know I have some OGs who follow me there and people who follow me, um, on both, you know, which I really appreciate. I want to say thank you. But for me, YouTube, I just feel like that this is like, you are my people, you know, you guys have seen me through all different stages. So yeah. Um, also huge, huge thing that I was thinking about too, because um, I'm always someone where I'm all for change and I love doing things that just fuel me. And as you know, I absolutely love Polynesian dance and I do actually have a Patreon where I have two years worth of classes on there. So anybody can sign up and take those classes and I have people signed up and they're still taking them, which I'm so grateful for. But what I was thinking of doing was putting classes here because I finally have the balls to not give a damn on what people think of me dancing on YouTube. So what I was thinking of doing is like 20 minute workout classes, like just dance, dance for fun, dance just to fuel my passion and also teach my passion. Um, and we just go into it. And then if you, I, I don't know, like, like, what do you guys think? I, I, I think I want to try it out. Like one day, like dance with me and see what happens. And that's what I wanted to do. Um, so if you watch this video, then you kind of already have like a sneak peek of what I wanted to do because I miss dance so much, but there is no way I can commit myself to a group and keep a class and go there just because things and schedules change so much. And I won't lie, 
my mood changes a lot and the gym has been my favorite like lifting weights and all that it has been my go-to this blush is definitely not the one to wear with this look um uh hair on my mouth i have a cat hair in my mouth there you go so yeah let me try to find a different blush that's a little bit more burnt brb i'm just gonna end up adding in <laughs> a more orange because this one's kind of it's just not flowing for me, you know, I need something a little bit more. Oh gosh, did I just make the wrong move? I'm like, I just need something a little bit more. No, you didn't. You did not need that. That's for sure. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave it alone now because this just looks crazy. Thinking about doing that um, because I, I miss dance so much and I told Glenn, I was like, damn, I miss dancing and I can just dance in the comfort of my own home. Like, how I taught all those classes. Um, but yeah, um, that's what I'm thinking of because I want to do things that fuel my passion. I'm just not just only into beauty, you know, and I know a lot of us have steered away from beauty stuff or a lot of us um, have our collections set or it's just not a priority. You're focusing more on health, more on family, more on mental health, which is all much more important than makeup, to be very honest. You know, those things come first. And yeah, but I don't know. I, I don't know what else, what other, <laughs> what other kind of update I can tell you. Um, a lot has just been going much better for me, I will say. And I, I just want to say I appreciate the people who um, are just curious on what's going on. But yeah, I'm just trying to get my business going. It's going really well. Um, I just released 20 new pieces. I'm just so happy with everything. And the feedback and I'm so happy people are DMing me and asking about pieces coming back in stock and all that. It just feels really good to get it going again because like I said, I was not in the mental state to do it. Even like my pictures, it is crazy. Like if you really think about it, like sometimes you look back at your life, like let's see, have you ever just looked back at a time in your life where like who was that person? What was she doing? That's how I felt with like even my website. I have so many pictures I have to redo. But if you look at the new pieces and the new pictures compared to the last ones when I first launched, it's chaos. And that's like kind of like where my mind was because so much was going on. And now I'm just so happy where the brand is going and where it's at and how I'm doing it. And I just feel so good. I'm so glad I'm still pursuing it and I'm not going to stop. And I'm just proud of it. You know what I mean? It feels good to continue something and on my own, for damn sure, on my own, I feel blessed. You know, I really feel blessed. I'm glad where my mindset is. I've been working really hard at it. Now everything that I do is just so different. It is so different. Even when I post, I'm so happy. When I post, I'm more creative. Just I have more of a happy glow to myself. Even like Glenn, I swear I love my husband so much. He's just like, I'm so happy to see you truly happy. Like, um, not like obviously not every day, but you know what I mean? Like, like almost every single day, he's like, you just look so much happier every single day. Like you just are glowing. You're really just pursuing everything all over again, working hard. And it just, it feels good. You know? Plus I know that's what my mom would want me to do. My mom always told me like, just always live your life for you. Like when it came to a certain time, like she knew, you know, things were going to change and she's like, focus on you. Obviously I focus a lot on her though, because I have to, and I want to obviously, but, um, but you know, I'm getting that balance back. I'm getting that balance where I'm not like lost. So I'm really happy. Catch me on TikTok, you guys. I post on TikTok. Um, but I just want to say thank you for all the support and honestly following me because it means a lot because if I don't have any followers or engagement or anything, obviously I do not have any opportunity and it just makes me feel good to know that I still have so many OG supporters and then I also have new supporters and whenever you have dropped down through my channel, followed, liked, or anything, even on Instagram, whatnot, I'm just very appreciative. Trust me. And if you ever see me in person, because I've been meeting more people in person in Orange County and all that. Please say hi. I'm very, very nice. Um, I actually met someone in Costco and sometimes I just feel like I'm not a person online or someone that people really watch. I don't know. It's, I don't know. And I had someone waving at me and I thought it was someone else. And I like, look, she's like, and I'm like, oh, me? Because we're just like in line at the cash, at the cashier in Costco. She like, she kind of made a face like, duh. 
<laughs> so I went to go say hi and I met her daughter. She was so sweet. I'm going to feature her in my TikTok. But she's like, yeah, you're well known. Like, I've been watching you for like so many years and all this. And I'm, I just felt like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I'm just in my own world and I honestly don't feel like people watch me. But I know they do. You know, I don't know. It's just weird. Very casual when it comes to this internet stuff. Like, uh, uh, like seeing it as I just feel like I'm any normal person. You know, that's pretty much all the updates I can give you. I don't know what else to tell you, um, but leave your comments down below. Let me know if you're excited about Sisters by Choice. That's a huge announcement. Let me know about these Tahitian workout videos. Like, I think it would be so much fun. And like I said, I am over like thinking about like, oh, the trolls and people commenting and on my body, I'm done. I'm over that, you know what I mean? Thank you, therapy. And yeah, just like a lot of exciting stuff. Check out my jewelry, shop refined jewelry. I have 20 new pieces, lots of custom pieces to come. I've been working on that as well. I just love being creative, you know, especially I think coming from like making dance costumes and just like working with your hands, I'm like missing that passion. Um, and I would love to make custom pieces for people and I'm really excited because I have people of all different sizes who are requesting different things or just DMing me saying, oh, I'm this size or I'm this size, you know, and I would love to provide just jewelry for everybody, quality jewelry. Um, I'm going to be doing custom hand chains. I want to do some with some freshwater pearl, some dainty, like simple ones as well, custom necklace, like to fit anyone so if you know I, I love those things like making things with love it's just my thing because I think I'm very emotional so it just connects with me but I'm not going anywhere I have a tutorial where I show you hard gel you guys look I did my own hard gel oh my gosh so damn cute but I show you a butterfly tutorial <gasps> so cute you have to see that one I loved that set that I did but natural nails okay I love you and I'll see you in the next one Mwah. Thank you.